Hello. Sorry. <laughs> Just got a little bit scared because I felt my elbow. Oh, today in Afterbirth Plus, we're going to continue our challenge attempts. And I think we'll go with Pong. That way we can start on the outsides and then move into the middle like a challenge sandwich. Do what? <laughs> Why do I have a hundred damage? Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. I get why it's Pong. I Can I not fire any faster? No, I'm assuming that that can't change throughout the run. That's pretty neat. Admittedly, that is pretty neat. It does seem fairly effective as a method of killing everything. I'm not exactly sure where the challenge part of this challenge is going to come from. That kind of worked out for us. That's fantastic. I, I like this one. This definitely seems the sort of you are just powerful, have fun part of it, which is definitely very, very nice. I'm going to assume then that we're probably not going to be getting item rooms on this one because that would make it just a little bit too easy. Yera, however, is pretty good. I have no idea where I need to go to. I can only assume with me being this powerful it's got to be something like, what, well, Blue Baby, Lamb, hell, it might even be a Mega Satan one. They're always uh, fun. Yeah, the time between shots is definitely going to be an inhibitor here, but I can definitely conquer it, for I am the most challenged of all Isaac players. <laughs> That's not good. That's not a good thing at all. Oh, my God. And I suppose the same tier can't damage the same thing twice, so... Oh, no! No, it can! Okay, why did I think that that can't be a thing? That's confusing. Oh, I should probably explain why tickling my elbow... Not tickling my elbow, though I do like tickling my elbow. I like tickling things in general. Tickling is is just... It's good, you know? It's it's a nice thing. I like, I like tickles. Is it weird to go up to someone and go, I like tickles? Because if it is, then I don't want to be not weird. And also, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. Tickles are fun, you know? It's a nice human response to react to light touches with pleasurable synapse firing, okay? And you can't tell me that that's wrong! No, what I was worrying about is my elbow keeps brushing against something, and the reason for that is I've kind of like a table to my right, and I thought I had a drink on this. When I was doing the intro and I, uh, you know, felt my elbow brush against something, I was convinced that I was about to knock a drink over and was therefore pretty scared that it was going to happen because I'm sick of recording things while sat in a pool of water from a drink that I've knocked over because you'd be amazed how consistently... That happens. All right, let's get this just in case we manage to get anything worthwhile. I guess the spirit heart's probably the most worthwhile when it comes to this. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm after. I just know that this seems ridiculously powerful, and I'm I'm yet to experience the challenge part of this challenge mode. Can we even get any extra range? Will it even change? Oh, no, it did. We did gain a little bit. I'm not sure if that is something that we can improve on. Because if we can gain damage and make it fire a little bit faster, then we are at least going to be in a much better position. So, hopefully that's okay. All right, so we at least have to go to Mum's Heart, which still is very, very doable with this. We're kind of just going to walk through the rooms. I don't think there's anything that can really stand up to a tier this ridiculously big. Though I do think we need more shot speed. I really, really do. But then again, we have a fairly okay... No, actually, no, we just have one, don't we? It's just completely normal shot speed. God damn, only one shot speed for this... Imagine if we found soy milk. Oh my god. And the other thing about my elbow. <laughs> While we're on the topic of my elbow. The other thing about my elbow is that I keep accidentally elbowing the table to my right. It's positioned in such a way that when I lean back and put my hands down, 
I accidentally elbow the table, which really hurts. And I have a habit of getting really angry at inanimate objects because for some reason my brain decides to imagine that it came to life and deliberately almost spitefully tried to hurt me. And I always have that flash of anger. Do you ever get that? All right, you accidentally... Oh, paperclip's not bad. You accidentally knock into something, you walk into a door, that kind of jazz, and then you have this moment of, ah, you are now my family's enemy door. I will dedicate the rest of my life to avenging myself upon you. You know, that kind of immediate swearing of vengeance as the anger rises and bubbles and blows. That's what I have. So, what happens is I accidentally elbow the table, which hurts like a bitch. And then in my retribution fury, I then turn around and punch the table, and then it hurts like a bitch twice over. And I'm there thinking, I am an idiot. I just tried to have a fight with a table and thought that I could win. And that's not great. You know, that is not great. It's really, there's no other way to say it. It's just not great. At least we're a nun pong now, so that's good for us. Not a lot of money, so shops, which are the one thing we do actually have access to, isn't actually really helping us out, but that's okay. Shielded tears is something we're going to need, and if we do have to go to the cathedral and uh, kill Blue Baby, then the Yera's going to come in very, very handy, so that might be a good thing. What is beeping at me? I'm very sorry, guys. I don't know what the hum sound is making. I, I also want to warn you that I can feel a spike in my throat. It's fine. It's okay. I think I'm good. I, I can't explain. This is a very surreal feeling. It genuinely feels like I swallowed a pin. And I don't know... I don't know how to get around that. <laughs> Actually feels like I swallowed a pin. I think the feeling is subsiding now, which is good. But that was really alarming. You can't see, but my eyes were as wide as they could go, and I'm there trying to continue talking because I don't want to mess the video up for you guys. But it also felt like I was legitimately about to die. So I've gotta, I've gotta worry about these things every now and then. Come on, get them, get them. Hey, there we go. I kind of like it. Fire the tear and then dodge until it kills everything. There's definitely something worthwhile about that. Hello, hello. And hello. Alright, let's get this and annihilate our boss. Ooh, Chub should get... Yep, there we go, that works. Can it get all of them? It only went and can. Can we gain damage? We can't gain damage. Ah, so it is just fixed at 100. <gasps> but imagine if we got Godhead. If we got Godhead, that is where it's at. That would absolutely just crush this challenge. Okay, I really hate the rooms that do this. Yes, I do. Oh, no. I accidentally press Q instead of A because I forgot where my fingers were on my keyboard. I realize that's... A oh, my God. I'm so freaking out of it. Oh, my word. Like, legitimately, what is that? And then I just, because I'm feeling so bad about wasting gear, I step on spikes, which I then feel bad about, and it's just, it's just a downward spiral, it really is. Alright, I want max value out of this one shot. There we go, I think that worked out very, very nicely. Okay, come on, kill that one. Just one left, come over here, walk into the tier, please. There we go, looking good. I mean, I'm still going to complete the challenge run, because I don't know how you wouldn't complete this one, but I am definitely a little bit on the upset side of things that that did occur. Hey, you. This is actually pretty good, because we genuinely need the money. I mean, that's technically like getting money, but not really, because if you have no money to begin with, you can't buy something for half price, because you can't even buy something for 99% off. So it depends on how you feel about it. Really? Can I not even... Can I not even blow up the golden poop? Please, golden poop! Don't do this to me. <laughs> Don't do this to me. But yeah, if any of you guys ever had a fight with an inanimate object, that's what I... That's what I need to do. You know, I've never I've never actually sort of, like, got sort of a stuffed toy and wrestled with it. 
At least I don't think I have. But then again, I have a lot of repressed memories from childhood. So anything really could have happened. Uh, I'd still rather have the paperclip, I think. Although now that I've lost Yera, as sad as that is to say, suddenly... Suddenly the paperclip loses value, but... I still think it's probably okay. The annoying thing is that we don't have polyphemus or any form of piercing, so it's not actually that great. Hello, Sisters Vis. Goodbye, Sisters Vis. Oh no, a little bit alive, but now a lot dead. And we get a load of pills. I might turn out to be good. Then again, I don't really know what I'm after here. Fort the Energy doesn't really do much for me. Infested doesn't do anything for me. I can see forever potentially does something for me. Yeah, there we go. We can at least grab the super secret, which, as it turns out, is a pretty good super secret room. In fact, I'd argue it's good enough that I can actually go get wealth of wealth now and at least buy stuff in the shop below. That seems like it's worth it. And since we apparently can't change our damage, I'm going to assume we can't change our fire rate, so we probably don't need to worry about Liberty Gap giving us a little bit of a tears up. So all in all, I think tactically this is going well. Whether it's going well in any other capacity or not, I don't know, but I do love the idea of a bomber man at none. I think that's something we all need to appreciate in our lives. Okay, well, I've suddenly got enough money to buy the things, and I guess we'll take Infamy. And the thing is, I do really like Infamy. Now we're kind of terrifying, you know? You don't want to get attacked by an army of nuns wearing Infamy masks. That is actually kind of intimidating, all things considered. Come on, you can do it. Get over there. Get over there. Come on, kill it. Fine, I'll just fire another one, making me waste my time. Oh, careful. That was pretty nice. I'm okay with how that went down. And I guess I will blow both of these up just in case of a spirit heart. And there is not, but there is the boss. And that's the important thing. Come on. There we go. Don't try and kill me, Spikes. What did I just say? Hello, mother. All right. This might actually kill her in one tier. Ooh, almost. Almost, almost, almost. So we have to go topside. I guess that is now confirmed. We get ourselves an extra heart, which again is honestly probably the best thing that we could get here. We just kind of want to be able to survive. And we don't want stem cells, we don't want the Pokeball, we don't want Undefined, and we don't know what the Rotten Tooth looking thing does. So onwards for glory! We didn't actually end up going to the shop, so less onwards for glory, but still generally onwards for glory. I am going to assume by the presence of that Polaroid that we do have to go topside, because surely it would still give me the choice if I didn't have to do either of them, which means we are definitely in this for the long haul, but that's still something I can make happen. Goodbye to you. Careful. Chubb's going to get destroyed by this thing. There we have it. Come on. Ah, oh, we don't really want Mr. Mega Bob's brain. Yep, Steven, just no damage up. But at least we get to know that there is a black lump under the nun's hat. You know, that's something that we can really appreciate. You know, we get to know that Steven's adorableness is there, despite us not being able to see it. And fire! Yeah, I keep forgetting it's not piercing. So let's deliberately walk into that fly in order to uh, tactical damage the entire room there, which is 100% what happened. I didn't just completely panic and not have a backup plan to my initial plan not working. You've always got to have lots of plans, even if you're doing something innocent. Like, you sat there, you're going, you know, I'm positively parched and I require refreshment. I'm going to uh, make a nice trip to the kitchen and acquire glorious liquids. You know, even if that's your goal, you still have to have a backup plan. What if you get blocked on the stairs? What if you run into a family member and they expect you to have a nice conversation when in reality you're thinking, bitch, I need some juice or some pop or some soda. Whatever you call it colloquially, I don't care. We're all humans in this world. We're not defined by what we call and label our drinks. <laughs> Pop is correct, though. And, uh, you know, you got to think about how you're going to deal with that. You're going to make your excuses. you got to slide on by. Maybe maybe you got to make a sprint for it when they're not looking. What if the stairs aren't working? I do love that. How can stairs be not working when they're a slope? Is that how stairs don't work? Because I've had people tell me that the stairs aren't working before. And I don't... 
I don't get it. How can stairs not be working? Has somebody in a Indiana Jones trapped them? Because that's all I can imagine. Okay, do we get the tears up? Oh, okay. So we don't get tears up, but we at least get the shot speed down, which I say at least that's actually really bad. But at least now we can see our Steelunk. Lunk? Yes, Lunk. Our Steve Lump, which you think is an important thing. Uh, Oh, yeah, we might as well go in here, see what is up. Infinite keys, which we don't really need. But that's all right. And I see you. I think this can pretty much one-shot everything in the game. I don't think there's any basic enemy that can survive a 100 damage hit that doesn't have multiple forms. So at least in that regard, we're not going to suddenly find something that's got a lot of time to kill us while we slowly fire our t Oh, no, look, there we go. That just survived a 100 damage hit. Well, I'll be a dandy doodle. I did not expect that to happen. All right, that kind of felt like piercing based on the fact that it just mashed Envy, which is really good. So I guess Envy is just two together, you know, that's all it is. Okay, boss, 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 where are you, boss? I do have a lot of bombs. Maybe I should be taking advantage of that fact while I can take advantage of that fact. All right, let me just roll on. Oh, the tear was like, no, Isaac, I've got you. No, as it dived in front of those spiders and took them out. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. So what we've learned is that there's absolutely nothing for us here, but that's okay. There's absolutely A-O-K. There we go, get that one, destroy that one, dodge, 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 weave, 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 and down we go. So this has got to be... No, even this is not correct. How am I supposed to deal with this knowledge that this entire side of the room... <laughs> is not for me. Oh, my poor bombs. I only have so many of you. <laughs> that does seem weird though. I can't believe there's literally nothing over there. I mean, at least with corridors like this, the Pong tier is going to absolutely annihilate. So we did, whoa. How is that possible? How can then be nothing there when we just established that there was nothing on this side? I'm feeling a tad confused unless aha there we go there we go that's the one i did it i did it guys i uh, i did it i also have absolutely no interest in killing these guys but if i have to come back i don't oh my god i just no it's going to take so long to kill a load of hosts with this tier type it really is how did that one survive it basically touched it I can't believe it touched my giant triangle and got away with it i just can't believe it we'll grab that heart and time for it lives oh no please get that yes there we go get the other one too no 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 got to make sure that you go through it no tier please kill it <laughs> God, if we'd have found homing tears, that at least would have been really, really nice. I do like this challenge, though. It's just very nice and relaxed doing what it does. And that's good. That is very, very good. And, yeah, top side we go. Why we would go to Hush, I have no idea. But that's fine. I guess it's for the true and proper masochists amongst you. Curse of the Lost. So the question now, then, is it Isaac or is it Blue Baby that we have to pay a visit to? And we do have a very nice amount of health to do so. Although this curse makes things a dad on the difficult side. I did deliberately need to take that damage. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the perfect amount of health for the best good luck charm. So that obviously was a choice that I made there. Two of clubs, double R bombs, and fire the tear. I don't know if a Mr. Mega Bomb does do more than 100 damage. I actually have no idea how much it even ramps up. Being an explosion man. Come on, kill that guy. It sucks I had to fire a halt here just for one fly. Oh, get on my boss finding level. Oh, that is... Mm, call me Mr. Map. Oh, yes. Oh, I have the psychic ability to always know where I am in any given building. 
That is going to be one of the least useful superpowers I think I have ever heard. I mean, what could you even really do with that? The most tangible use for it, I can think, is being a hostage and being able to tell someone exactly where you are because you know where you are. But even then, how would you speak to someone if you're a hostage? You're a hostage, you know? You don't just let hostages tweet out where they are, hashtag kidnapped. You know, you're just not going to see that, though. That totally could happen in some sort of, like, apocalyptic future. I guess we may as well throw the bomb at you just to get a little bit of extra damage. And I think including the poison, my bomb is probably more effective than the tear, but not by a long way. And we do have to kill Blue Baby. Jeez. Okay. It's really trying its best to make me struggle here. I mean, that's kind of good, because then we at least get to fire out the, a second big-ass tier every now and then. And we do have Nordleaf with the knife, which is pretty good, and just some more health. So, you know, definitely could have been better items, but also could have been a lot worse. Getting, actually, just firing one extra of those big tiers is probably all you need. If we could have got Loki's horns as well, so we're always firing four, that would have been nice. But apart from it, I think that's fine. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Just a bomb. Don't really care for you. Where are you, blue baby? I'm going to kill you. I'm going to skin you. And then... Actually, no, I'm probably not going to skin him. I don't think you could skin a corpse because the... Oh, look at that monster! <laughs> I don't think you could skin a corpse because the skin would be all weird if it's been dead too long because of all the weird stuff that happens to a body after it's perished. So... I don't think that's something I want to do, so I'm going to have to put the skidding knife away. I'm sorry, Blue Baby. <laughs> I'm so sorry for any inconvenienced cause. And goodbye to you. Oh, I can see forever. Yes, I can see forever. Please kill the enemies that I can see forever. I think I was technically being damaged by the cage there, which is sad. If I somehow manage to fail this, oh, come on, why? Give me at least some item that's going to be like, ha-ha, with this synergy. That's all I want from my life, just something. Hey, at least we get to fire the odd red one, so we do have that going for us. Though I do need to chill on the damage that I'm taking, because it's going to take a little while to get through. Blue baby, I would say. And we do have the secret room to hopefully skip some stuff here, but I have no idea. When I'm against a wall like this, it does just look like I have 2020, which is definitely very good. Yeah, you better, you better freeze. And that worked out. I mean, I didn't like that last hit that I took, but we got sticky bombs. Yeah, sticky bombs. Love me some sticky bombs. Not the best item. I'm actually getting a little bit concerned, but I don't know if it's all in my head or not. How did that not hit? How did that not hit? Oh, this is not a great room. I mean, it's not a bad room. Obviously, it's basic enemies, but there's a lot of them, and I'm apparently playing really badly, and that's a worry. Can I fire another tier, please? That'd be really good. See, I relied on that back tier, and it came through for me. Oh, is that it? Yay! All right, we did it. And our reward is a single bomb. We fight through hell and back. And our reward is a single bomb. I mean, I guess it depends on what the bomb is. If it's a truly ridiculous explosion-causing beast, then I guess that probably would be worth it. But then again, how much do you have to like bombs to really go through all that effort just to get one? Like, even if it was the best bomb ever made, a fine bomb crafted by the best artist, a vintage, lovely bomb... Would that even matter? Because most people would just look at it and be like, I guess I've got a bomb and I guess it's pretty cool, but I, I don't I don't need it. Like, why did I go through hell for this? I, I probably should have read the fine print as to what my reward was. You know, that kind of that kind of dealio. I'm, I'm not sure that many people would do that much for a bomb, no matter how good the bomb is. I guess it depends how much you like explosions, but most people don't like explosions that well. They like explosions, they just don't like causing them, I guess is more accurate. I don't know, I just feel like we need to consider explosions more in our day-to-day -day life. That's what I'm getting from this. And if you could die, yay, more Mr. Mega, and then Gerald. Good old Gerald. 
And then you think, ooh, that's not bad. Nice little extra little bitty bit. And it's now time to crush he who is blue. Um, okay, I guess you decided to be a sticky bomb. You know, that's fine. You can grow up to be whatever kind of bomb you want to do, Bob's Ron Head. All right, you know, maybe when you were little, your mum told you you can't be a sticky bomb when you grow up. Well, I say nay. <laughs> Because of my horse DNA. Alright, there is Pong. It is done. The trophy is mine. What has that done for me? Greed's gullet. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Oh, good boy. <laughs>